I do talk about sex a lot in my show. I talk about sex all the time on stage. And a friend called me on it recently, came to see the gig, and he, he went, you talk about sex all the time. Are you obsessed? I said, well, I'm not obsessed. But sex is the great universal topic for comedy. It's still quite taboo to talk about it openly in public. Everyone's interested, everyone cranes forward, and there's a lot of tension around sex. And where you find that kind of tension, that's also a great place to find laughter. So sex is a great topic for comedy. But it's difficult to stand in front of you good people and talk about sex without sounding crude. So to try and mitigate that, to try and alleviate that, this evening, if I refer to a vagina at any point, I'll be calling it a twinkle cave. <laughs> As in, so there I was, licking out a twinkle cave. <laughs> while she deep-throated my tummy banana. <laughs> it's nice to be nice, isn't it? Um, I saw a woman wearing a top. It said, super dry, on the front. <laughs> I said, have you thought about lubricants or HRT? <laughs> Maybe a little bit of Aussie charm? Are you familiar with the term Aussie charm? Just means... Australian charm, you're welcome. <laughs> Very pleasing look from the ladies of London as if to say, well, I didn't know that had a name, but yes, that does happen. <laughs> a lot of men like it when the collars and cuffs match, but I wouldn't want to date a bald lady. <laughs> that took you a while to get. <laughs> Apparently, women like chocolate because it stimulates them in the same way as sex, which I think goes some way towards explaining the popularity of the chunky Kit Kat. I've never found chocolate to be an aphrodisiac. The only way a chocolate bar is going to help my sexual performance is if I use it as a splint. <laughs> or bait. <laughs> I've got a friend that took me to one side recently. He said, what does it mean if on a first day a girl puts a cheeky finger up your bum whilst fellating you? I said, it means there's going to be a second date. It's a great feeling when you get a woman you've been chasing for miles. <laughs> I've known thousands of women in the biblical sense, and by biblical sense I mean made-up women that don't really exist. <laughs> a lot of people just drift into relationships without really thinking about it, and we call those people men. <laughs> a lot of men say when they first get together with a woman they can't initially tell if it's the real thing, but I can because I've got a special little indicator that sticks up. Come on in, sit down. What's your name, madam? Alexa. Alexa. And what, what is it, some sort of cystitis? What's the matter? <laughs> what do you do for a living, Alexa? Um, lots of things. You do lots of things? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I think I've seen a card advertising your services. <laughs> Are you new in town? Go on, sir. Uh, Don't let me guess. You're an aspiring presenter. Yeah. Ooh. Well, I'll say to you what I say to all aspiring presenters that I meet. I'll have an Americano, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking love my job. Um, <laughs> gentlemen, do you remember what you were doing the first time you told a woman that you loved her? I do. I was lying. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me that look. It worked. I fucked her. I feel like I've been up here long enough. I can open up a little bit. I can share with you. Glasgow this year, I can share, yes? yes. Okay. My girlfriend has fallen asleep during sex before. <laughs> that is embarrassing. <laughs> that is awkward. But not as awkward as the time she woke up during it. <laughs> Hello, love. <laughs> You're up early. Yeah, I was just getting on with a little bit of sex. <laughs> I'll make you a cup of tea when I'm finished. That'll help get rid of the taste. <laughs> yeah, I know it's weird. I've seen a doctor. <laughs> you could be the moral arbiter on this one, Birmingham. Right, you be the moral arbiter on this one this evening. I've got a friend, he got dumped by his girlfriend. She ended their relationship just because he said something. They were, they were making love, they were mid-coitus. Fucking. <laughs> As he 
orgasmed as he, as he, as he arrived, <laughs> ejaculated, came. The most intimate, but also the most vulnerable time for a man, as, as that occurred, as he... He said, bang, and the dirt is gone. <laughs> I can see two distinct groups of men. There's some men looking at me as if to say, I don't think that's that bad. <laughs> I think maybe she's overreacted a little bit. And then I can see other men looking at me as if to say, note to self. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be very careful with jokes in the bedroom, because it's quite funny to say to a girl who's sucking you off, it's rude to talk with your mouth full. <laughs> but it's even funnier if she says, well, it's not full. <laughs> Women ask weird questions. Well, the women in my life have always asked weird questions. My girlfriend said to me recently, she said, which of my friends do you think is prettiest? Well, that's what she said. What I heard was, I fancy a fight. <laughs> I don't know much about women, but I know there is no correct answer to the question, which of my friends do you think is prettiest? There's nothing I can say that she'll go, oh, good. Yeah. And there's going to be trouble, so I thought, well, I might as well be hung for a sheep as a lamb. So when she asked, which of my friends do you think is prettiest, I said, well, Karen is pretty, but Susan does that thing with her tongue. <laughs> we went out for a drink the other night, me and my girlfriend, and we were chatting about what people actually think about when they're having sex. Not a conversation I would recommend. She, she said to me, she said, what kind of a man fantasises about his partner's friends whilst he's actually having sex with his partner? And I said... Promise you won't get mad. <laughs> what do you think is the most important thing in a relationship? Give us a shout. Sex. sex. How long have you been together with your woman? Four years. Four years and sex is still the most important thing. Well, you, sir, are a liar. <laughs> Up to two years, I would give you. Up to two years is fine, but sex is the most important thing. You're ripping each other's clothes off. It's fantastic. After two years, what's that coming up on the inside? Coming up pretty fast. Sky Plus. <laughs> Any other thoughts? Most important thing in a relationship? Trust. trust. A lot of ladies saying trust. Any other? Cricket. Cricket. <laughs> Cooking. Cooking's the most important thing. Are you the guy from Quantum Leap? Have you just got here from 1970? <laughs> Cooking's the most important thing in a relationship. Have you ever become engaged by awarding someone a bread maker by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the weirdest answer. The weirdest answer I had recently. I said, what's the most important thing in a relationship? And the bloke went, consent. <laughs> there was a guy up in Edinburgh. I said, most important thing in a relationship? And he went, me. <laughs> a terrified looking woman next to him going. <laughs> Any other thoughts? Lubricant. <laughs> well, if you run out, Any other? Alcohol. What, sorry? A puncture repair kit. A puncture repair kit. <laughs> Funny, I like that. I think it deserved more. Come on. Um, any other? What, sorry? Love. Love. Grow up. <laughs> Who are you in a relationship with? You're my little pony. <laughs> <laughs> Any other thoughts, most important thing? Laughter. Laughter? Well, I, I don't know about that. I do think a sense of humour is what I look for in a woman, because if a woman can see the funny side of life, she's much less likely to press charges. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh, I, think the most, I think trust. For me, I think trust is the most important thing in a relationship, because if you're with a woman and you don't 100% trust her, how do you know she's not going to tell your wife? I do love it when a woman says those magic words that mean she's definitely up for sex that night. This drink tastes funny. <laughs> I'm joking, you can't taste it. <laughs> I'm not a prude, you'd agree with that, wouldn't you? I'm not prudish. Here's the thing, I don't like swearing during sex. Who wants to hear that kind of language, especially from a child? <laughs> Oh, the look you gave me there. <laughs> you prefer a sweary kid. Fair enough. 
I had a thing happen to me recently, a little bit embarrassing. I got caught. I didn't think this could happen when you were a grown-up. I got caught masturbating <laughs> by my girlfriend. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> Sorry I woke you. <laughs> You've got sleep in your eye. Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr. Thanks for taking a break from the pornography to watch my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Now, back to jerking off.